Hey guys, it's Drew with the Gucci Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. We bought uh, $10,000 worth of coins from someone we haven't done business with before. Uh, a lot of nice coins, but also we're going to be talking to you a little bit about protecting your business. And uh, we hope you enjoy today's video. So we love making big deals, uh, big coin deals, getting good stuff in for uh, the shop, for people like you that want to spend money. If you guys want to see what we have uh, today, uh, it's going to be on AcousiaCollectibles.com. Also, if you want to make big deals or even sell a little bit of your collection, 832-538-4122. That's how you just get in contact with me directly. But uh, like I said, we started this deal uh, a few weeks ago. We had a big collection that someone was uh, wanting to sell us. And so we pieced everything out and they had it set. Um, a good thing to do when you're a coin dealer in a space that's well known is that basically you do payment on receipt. So this individual ended up sending us these coins and once they arrive, then we send him a check. We make sure everything checks out. We make sure uh, everything that he puts in the box is adequate and something that we agreed on. And it ultimately will help you in the long term, uh, you know, not be in any legal battles or make sure that you're getting everything that you ask for. And so we're going to show you guys um, the clip of us going to the going to the post office, uh, just going through certain procedures in our business, so that when things uh, you know, just to make sure everything goes well. So basically, we're going to go show you us opening the box, show you what it's supposed to be looking like, and ultimately we wanted to help you in your coin business or anything that you do with collectibles. So. Let's show you guys that clip, come back, and then show you guys some coins. State your name. Okay, so guys, Drew Haddock, Acoustic Collectibles here. Uh, we just got this package from our friend Kelly from Alaska. What's the date? Today's date uh, is June 6th, and it's Monday at around 5 o'clock. What year? Uh, 2022. Just picked this up. So you can see on the outside of this box here, I'm going to cover up the, uh, his uh, address, but everything is sealed. They, basically, what they do in transit with registered mail is they're going to they're going to stamp every single uh, way this can be opened so it isn't opened, right? And so we're going to show you every side of the box here, all sealed. And we're going to be showing you guys this because uh, this is supposed to be a $10,000 box. And so if we're not filming this ahead of time, then if something like, uh, you know, something a bait and switch happens or they said they sent something and they didn't send something, that's where a lot of this can go wrong. This is how you do uh, the business that we're doing. So uh, I'm going to open it, breaking the seal here. We're gonna keep all this, film all this the whole time. Just something you should do if you're in the coin business or in any business, especially shipping stuff through a postal service, especially with someone you haven't really worked with before. It might take a minute, we didn't bring our uh, right stuff here. Uh, opening it up. Let's see what we got here. Got another box full of stuff. All it's just wrapping, nothing else. Another box here full of stuff. Show the full box. Okay. these both here once again now these are old boxes you can see by the date here old box he put it in an old registered box that he had at his house probably a PCGS box or something he sent stuff in with ok 
Okay, so first box here. A lot of the stuff that we talked about. We got some proof sets. We'll be showing you guys all this a little bit later. A little bit tougher dates circulating Morgans. Proof like Morgan Dollar. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of the stuff we agreed on here. It's, it's a good sign, especially when you're, like I said, when you're doing business with people you haven't done business with before. Guess we gotta work on this box a little bit too. Okay, so next box here. Got some proof stuff. A lot of these are gonna be the proof sets, I'm guessing. He had like a few proof sets available. Just go through and show them all. Uh, I can't. 65, 39, 39 red cent. 39 mercury dime proof, 39 quarter, 39 half, 40, 40, 40, 40, 42, 42, 41, 41, 40, 40, 41. So we're going to count because we had 31 of it, uh, 31 coins that he wanted to ship us. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Set these aside here. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. So everything is here. Now that you got everything in your hand and uh, everything is as, as it should, we're gonna be sending this check out to Kelly. But this is really how you look into a box, how you document a box in case anything were to go wrong. It's hot as crap out here, but. We're gonna take these coins home, show you guys everything that we got. Uh, you'll be happy with a lot of these things, uh, just a lot of nice collector coins, but yeah, let's show you guys some stuff. So a lot of great things um, were talked about and shown in that past few minutes. We just wanted to help you guys, like I said, but we ended up getting 31 coins in total, made sure to double check on that. And now we're gonna present to you guys everything that we got a lot of really cool proof sets and a lot of better date Morgan dollars. Alrighty, so here is everything uh, spanned out for you guys. A little bit of better date Morgan dollars, but let's talk a little bit about these proof sets. So I don't really buy proof sets, especially ones that are a little bit more modern, but these ones really spoke to me a lot. I mean, a Walker proof set, um, you know, red set, everything really on these uh, proof sets were hand picked, very nice. It's exactly what you want to see out of a collection. I'll show you a few highlights here real quick. So this is a 1942 uh, Walking Liberty Half Dollar. It's a Proof 65. Just a really nice uh, cameo looking coin. A lot of these are going to have the same type of look to it. And uh, just really uh, great eye appeal and really nice to look at. I mean, you're really getting a lot of bang for your buck here if you ever, you know, if you ever wanted to pick something up like this. Just a really nice piece of history. I mean, check out just the look on this coin as well. Nice OGH holder. Really love the, the proof walkers out of these sets. It's just, uh, I mean, very nice, very nice. But, you know, a little bit of a mixture between each one. And we got the 42, 41, 39, and 40. So a little bit of the tougher dates here, a little bit more of the common dates there. And uh, uh, just, uh, you know, the, the guy that sold these to us really collected and really knew what he was looking for. And that's something great that you want to buy whenever you're a coin collector. Just someone that really spent the time to find nice coins for their collection, which ultimately led to inventory for you one day. And so, um, if you guys want to check out all these coins, AcousticCollectibles.com, that would be great. Um, you guys would really uh, have some fun over there, taking a look at some nice coins. But 
I uh, just can't get enough of these of these uh, proof sets. Really do enjoy them, and I really appreciate him doing that for us. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the Morgan dollars. Are you guys enjoying today's video so far? If you are, please leave a like. I want to include a bunch of information about just business tips for, for coins, but also including some really cool coins uh, just for you to take a look at. Um, comment your thoughts down below about this video and about uh, something that you might want to look forward to in the future from us in terms of a video. But yeah, let's get back to uh, today's episode. One of the most expensive coins we bought out of the batch is this 1893 Proof Morgan Dollar. It's graded Proof 61 by PCGS. It's a little bit darker than most, but uh, still a pretty nice coin. A lot of people are looking for proofs for their collection, and so that's why we wanted to pick this one up. I think this one really does uh, just uh, have some interesting appeal to it. 725 minted, and uh, yeah, check out the true views on this coin too. You'll really enjoy it. A few uh, better dates here. We have uh, uh, 1896 O, as you can see. We also have an 1896 S. Just uh, some pretty cool coins for sure. A little bit of better dates. When you're working with, uh, you know, collectors, you're gonna want something that's a little bit mid tier if you can afford it, and something that they really, uh, you know, want to keep rather than just have as a, you know, kind of a, you know, little pastime. I think that there's a lot of common date morons out there. But the better date morons you kind of get and go after, sometimes just to resonate more with collectors because they're really hunting those. But here's an 1880S Morgan dollar, rated MS64 proof like by NGC. Nice old holder, it's a thick one, and uh, having toning on some, uh, proof like coins pretty nice. Just gives it a little bit of added zest to the coin, and uh, I really do enjoy this one a lot. A little bit more of a common date, like I said, but it's something that separates it from most of the other PLs. Uh, here's a pretty cool one right here. This is a 1883 CC Morgan dollar. Uh, I bought this one because it's not because of the date really, but mainly the condition rarity of the coin. This one's graded MS66 by NGC. Just a really strong cheek and uh, has a little toning on the reverse that will really make uh, somebody happy. Just uh, a really top tier coin, especially for a collector that wants to start getting into CCs and wants to go out big. But um, here is another interesting CC here, 1891. Uh, this one isn't the Spitting Eagle, but it is still pretty nice, nice and original. As you can see right here, there's not really any uh, thing in front of the face. Normally you see like a little dot here if it was a Spitting Eagle. But like I said, nice original coin, nothing of a problem really happened to this coin over the years. And uh, really happy to get this one. Here is uh, one of my favorites of the whole entire batch. This is an 1885 Carson City. This one's graded MS65 by PCGS. A few kind of scratches on the holder, but I mean the cheek is really nice and clean. Really beautiful luster. You, I mean this is something that you really want. Um, like if I could keep this going, I would. Just because I don't see too many Carson Cities in 65, especially in a Rattler holder. And so... Just a overall coin, something that I really wanted to pick up and offer in the shop. And uh, yeah, it's something that I like a lot. And, and you know, a little bit more of a common day here, 87S and AU55. But here's the last Carson we want to show off in today's video, 1884CC. A little hazy, but strong cheek and, uh, you know, min state 65. A lot of the ones I've been buying that are Carson City common dates or a little bit better dates, you kind of want to aim for something that's a little bit more of a collector grade. And the collector grade I've been looking for is 65 and a little bit better. And so that's why I picked up these. It's just uh, people that are a little bit more serious about the hobby are going to want something that's pretty high grade and sometimes, you know, is a little bit more tough to find. And so we hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. Like I said, if you guys want to check out any of these coins, we'll have them all on our online coin shop. But yeah, let's cut it to the outro. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Uh, a lot of tips that we wanted to pack into this video just to give you guys an approach to if you're buying a big collection, especially through uh, USPS. Uh, we haven't been uploading as many coins lately just because we've been waiting on the right ones to come in. You know, we've been saving a lot of our money just so, uh, you know, like I said, the right coins come, you want to be able to buy them. We had a lot of extra inventory that we weren't really impressed with and that's why TNA came in and stepped, stepped up in terms of getting rid of old inventory that you guys really didn't enjoy and the collectors that we had didn't enjoy so we hope these pack a punch for you but if you guys did enjoy today's video like i said leave a like comment your thoughts down below about the tips that we gave if you guys have any additional tips we'd love to hear those 
and subscribe if you're new because we got new videos coming out every week just past 2,500 subscribers and we hope to see you guys in the next video.